What's up y'all, it's Christy. I'm the Mobile Home Diva and in today's video, I just wanna talk to you. Listen, I know you're not used to me doing this kind of video, like from the car or whatever. But And I keep saying, okay, I gotta set up me a background, make it cute, have a sit down and talk to the people. But I'm so busy, you guys. I'm looking for the case to my AirPods. I'm so busy, you guys, that that just has not happened. So, I decided just now when I was thinking about I need to make a video and tell y'all where I've been to just turn on the camera, real and raw, just like I am, and talk to you. Because I've definitely been missing you, and I want you to know <clears throat> where I've been and what's going to happen going forward. I had to, um, excuse me for eating, but I am starving. I had to um, drive up to Marietta, Georgia, which is about 60 miles from my house. I had to drive up here. I got to find my... AirPods case. Maybe I threw it in my purse. I'll find it. I had to drive up here. I had to be up here 10 o'clock this morning. I was running late. I got up here about 1030. But I had pre-op. I'm having a surgical procedure tomorrow, which is Wednesday on my mouth it's an elective it's nothing serious i have a bridge that i'm going to have partially taken out and i'm going to get fitted for a beautiful smile i'm tired of smiling and people seeing through my mouth so i've decided to get my teeth fixed so tomorrow i'm having surgery so that's been going on. I, I'm, I'm preparing for a couple of procedures. Um, trying to get some stuff done while we basically have kind of downtime from the box truck business. It's still moving. We're still running freight. Just not running freight like a lot, maybe once or twice a week running freight. And really, we've been sticking to Amazon because um, we want to be close to home and because um we want to get our, a score back and i know this isn't mobile home related but a lot of you guys follow me on all my channels including the box truck couple so you know we are truck drivers we run freight and uh i record video for that channel too so anyway um uh, we've been doing a lot of amazon staying close to not a lot twice last week none this week so far but that's because we get ready for this procedure and then um there's some things that I need to have done. Number one, this is an elective, get my mouth fixed. But then in another couple of weeks, I'll have a colonoscopy and I'll also have what's called an endoscopy where they put the tube down your throat to see what's going on with that. I think that I need an esophagus dilation because my esophagus is very tight, but I'm also having some irritation and different things going on in the throat that have me concerned. So I'll be um, real and, and some other more private issues that are happening that I feel may be colon related. So, um, so I'm having a bunch of stuff looked at in the next couple of weeks. So I've been super busy preparing for different things as well as you guys know that we have our hand in a lot of stuff. Okay. Truck drivers, we do record video for the trucks. Then I record home videos. Then I was trying to have a vlog channel. Um, my husband has a landscaping business. He also is a mechanic. You know, it's just been a lot of stuff going on. We have a new puppy. Um, if you've been watching us on the Box Truck channel, you know we just got, he was six weeks old when we got him, a pit bull. His name is Hercules, and we call him Herc. And um, we just love him to death, but puppies are a lot of work. 
and he is a lot of work. He is the spoilest little baby you'll ever see. Um, I wash his bedding every day because I want him to sleep on clean bedding and um, <laughs> just a lot of work. Probably more, we probably putting more work on ourselves than we have to, but we love him so much and we're spoiling him to death. So anyway, that's my business. So anyway, all of that stuff is going on, but I know I need to gain some control of these YouTube channels if I want to keep them. I made a decision to let the vlog channel go. I know you guys, there's a handful of you guys that, that say, oh, I love your video, your vlog channel. I just want to see you. Number one, the vlog channel is more work than anything else because you have a lot of little pieces to put together and edit and cut and downsize and make sure this is right it's a lot more work and it's a lot more daunting number two my life isn't exciting i look at other vlog channels people are traveling and going places and doing things and hanging out and partying and all of these different scenarios and me and my husband do the same thing every single day well our life is just not exciting like that i mean i i know it's people that just like to see what you're up to it's a lot of work. So I've decided that when I do want to vlog, I will put it either on this channel or the Box Short Couple channel. So if you're following me, follow me on all in all areas. I also post on Instagram, which is also work. So just follow me, you guys. But I'm getting ready to get back into posting um, videos. The problem was I hadn't had time to go and visit places that also requires time you have to locate places you have to travel to said places sometimes it takes hours to get to a place and um it's just a lot of work but i'm getting ready to get back into it i right now coming from touring a tiny home facility here in kennesaw georgia and absolutely fell in love with the tiny home movement okay i could see us in a tiny home as a matter of fact my husband told me that if something was to happen to me he probably wouldn't stay in that house he would probably get a tiny home just for him and now i'm thinking like there's some properties available in our neighborhood and i'm thinking wow, do we get a piece of land and put a tiny home on it and rent out the house we live in? Because really, we don't... It's just too... It's only a three-bedroom, two-bath, 1,400-square-foot home, but we don't... We could really just have a bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, and living room, and that's all we need. Just me, him, and her to, be, to keep it real with you. So I don't know. It might be some changes coming. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just thinking I'm the type of person when it hit my brain and it's a good idea, I try to make it happen. And then sometimes my husband will say, well, wait a minute, you know, let's slow up on that thought or whatever. But I'm thinking. So anyway, I'm coming from there. So stay tuned. In the next week or so, I will be posting videos um, from there. I only toured three houses. They had duplicates we only had three um homes for you to tour but they're beautiful so i can't wait to show you that i also have some rv living some rv homes that i am going to be sharing with you in addition to the manufactured home so if you want to see um some you know different ideas if you're thinking about simplifying your life if you're thinking about um, downsizing, if you're thinking about a retirement home or a lake home, it doesn't necessarily have to be a manufactured home, you know, so I'm going to give people other options to look at on this channel. And I think that will help me to be, I'm motivated to go to the manufactured homes. I love them. You guys, you guys know that I'm motivated to do that, but you know, sometimes you got to to mix it up and make it more interesting and going to see those tiny homes today was really i was so excited and it was something different and something new and i really enjoyed it so i can't wait to share it with you i hope you if you're not currently subscribed 
go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I got lots of great videos already posted on this channel. And I got lots of great videos to come. So, stay tuned, you guys. I am back. And it is going to be better than ever. So, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Comment below if you miss me. Comment below if you want to, what you think about seeing other types of homes on this channel. Tell me how you feel. Tell me what you've been up to. Just comment below, okay? All right. I'll see you guys in the next video.